Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to learn input validation loops. I hope you all are know what is loop. For looping concepts, I give the links in the description. So please refer for loops. In this session, we are going to learn about input validation loops. So input validation is nothing but in programs, you are going to read the data from the keyboard. So that must be valid. If you are reading invalid data, that invalid data will be processed and you get the so bad outputs. So instead of this, if you read valid data, then the valid data will be processed and you get the good results. So that means so input validation is nothing but you are going to inspect the input either it is valid or not. So inspecting input so before it is processed by the program is known as a input validation. So for input validation, so commonly, so while loop will be used. That means, so by using while loop, you are going to validate the input. If input is invalid, so display error message and receive another input. If input is valid, process input. Okay, so let us discuss with one example. So this is the real time scenario. So when you enter into ATM to withdraw the money, so withdraw the money. So for example, if I enter one, two, three, then so money is withdraw or not? No. So why? Then it display a message that so please enter amount so multiples of hundred. So multiples of hundred. So if I enter five hundred, then the money will be withdraw from your account. So here. We are going to validate this input. You are going to read the data. After that, you are going to validate this input by using while loop. So this is the example program. So W amount, withdraw amount equals to int of input, enter withdraw amount. So now, so this message will display on monitor, enter withdraw amount. For example, I enter, so 4, 5, 6. So 4, 5, 6 is assigned to withdraw amount and so after that here I am going to validate the input here what is the condition here whatever you amount enter here that is some multiples of 100 so multiples of 100 how we can check this is the logic so percentage 100 so this amount 456 percentage 100 if we get 0 then that is valid if it is not 0 that is invalid so Withdraw amount percentage 100. So what is the output for this 56? 56 not equals to 0. Yes, 56 not equals to 0. So enter into the block. It prints invalid amount. And again, it asks the input from the user. Enter withdraw amount in multiples of 100. For example, again, I enter 1, 2, 3. Again, the control goes to here. So 1, 2, 3 percentage 100 1 2 3 percentage 100 is 23 again so 23 not equals to 0 yes it is 2 enter into the block again print invalid amount again prints enter withdraw amount in multiples of 100 again i give 6 7 8 again the loop goes to here 6 7 8 percentage 100 that equals to 78 78 not equals to 0 it is true Again enter into the block, invalid amount and again it asks enter withdraw amount in multiples of 100. For example, now I enter 500. Again the control goes to here. 500 percentage 100, that is 0. 0 not equals to 0, false. Then we go to here and process the data. I hope you all are understand how we validate this input by using while loop. Okay. So after that, if it is valid amount, if the user entered the valid amount, then it print, so collect cash. Okay. I hope you all are understand how to validate the input in Python. Now we see execution of the program. So here, so withdraw amount, you are going to read from the keyboard. If the withdraw is not in the multiples of 100, 
then we are going to print invalid amount so after that again you are going to read the data from the keyboard for withdraw amount until the withdraw amount is multiples of 100 you are going to read the value from the keyboard so after that you are going to print a message collect cash okay so in this way you are going to validate the input so now we execute this program so enter withdraw amount for example i enter 456 now it displays invalid amount enter withdraw amount multiples of 100 again i enter 1 2 3 again it displays invalid amount enter withdraw amount multiples of 100 again i enter 6 7 8 so invalid amount enter withdraw amount so multiples of 100 now i enter 500 so 500 is valid so it displays a message collect cash